This is the Forza Motorsport Update 7. We have new cars, we have a new circuit, and there's a whole bunch of non-gameplay things in this month's update that are actually really cool. I have the full list of patch notes, and in today's video, we're gonna go through everything new in the game. Update 7 reduces the installation footprint of Forza Motorsport by around 15 to 20%. Pre-update, Forza Motorsport was 155 gigs, and now... Now, if I go and check, it's 130 gigs. As boring as that sounds, that's actually huge. Well done. We have a brand new racing circuit for today. Brands Hatch in the UK. We've got the full circuit. That's like the old F1 track from back in the day. And we've got the Indy circuit, which is like, if you go do a track day at Brands Hatch, the chances are you're doing that one. Welcome to the UK and welcome to Brands Hatch, boys. Wait, wait, wait. Now, it's the United Kingdom. This is more accurate now, boys. Welcome to the United Kingdom, and welcome to... That man's already had an accident. You probably recognize Brands Hatch because it's been in a bunch of previous Forza Motorsport games. I think it first came to Forza Motorsport and Forza Motorsport 6. It's a lovely racing circuit that's used for a bunch of different racing series. A lot of this circuit is used for like British touring car racing and like GT3 and GT4 racing, if I'm not mistaken. And you can also rent like a car and, and have like a track day experience. If your name is Nick, you will have an accident on this bit and drive into the dirt and leave big long lines through it. I didn't do that. It was somebody else named Nick, actually. Anyways, I don't know if it's just me, boys. I'm a huge fan of Brands Hatch. I absolutely love this circuit. However, am I the only one that wants the developers to add actual new circuits to this game? Circuits that we haven't seen in previous Forza Motorsport games? Where is Simply Sausages? Where is Interlago? Where is my Calabogi Motorsports Park? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, developers. It's already been laser scanned. The data is out there already. How much does it cost for a licensing agreement and some updated texture? Oh my God, somebody says the Ebola drone. <laughs> now that you mention it, I would love some street circuits in this game. A Monaco would be incredible. A Singapore would be insane. Even like a Baku would be incredible. Incredibly cool. I mean, obviously those sorts of circuits are really difficult for the developers to scan and stuff because they're not racing circuits the majority of the time, but they would give off a really, really cool vibe. Just saying. As per usual, I'm using the lovely Thrustmaster eSwap controller. This is the really cool controller where you can actually just swap the sticks on the fly. I wouldn't really recommend doing it unless you're on a big straight. Basically, you know when you get saggy sticks? Sorry. You know when you get stick drift? Essentially, these controllers don't get stick drift. There's a link below if you... If you want to try them out for yourself. They won't make you a better driver, though. And across the line. There are some new cars in the game. There's a whole bunch of spotlight cars in the game. Nah. Here are the actual new cars. Car pass cars. There's the 2019 Janetta G55 GT4 car. The new Janetta looks incredible. There's the cool Matra. I really need to try that thing out because it's got an insane engine note. And last but not least is the LMP3 Lige JSP3. This is the Matra and just listen. It's number 69. <laughs> it is one of the best sounding V12 engines ever made. It's actually a three liter V12, which is just mind blowing. If you're a developer watching this, please look away. I'm going to go and do a glitch to get the car early. Nothing to see. Let's see if this thing sounds even remotely close to what it sounds like in real life. artificial in this game. I'm about to do a very James May thing, but it removes all the soul and the passion of this car. And I... 
I mean, capturing that is very difficult. It's not the worst engine sound I've ever heard, but it's not perfect. Sound could be worse. It could be similar to the sounds from Gran Turismo 5 and 6. There is actually some other really cool stuff that the developers are doing. In update six, we made two specific changes to the FRR model. The first change was to add more examples of side swipe collisions into the model's training data. Uh, the second was to reduce false negatives and ensure we assign penalties to the players who should have received them but weren't. In update seven, we're adjusting the weighting so that we expect to see false positives reduced and added more examples of sideswipe training data to continue to adjust the model. Good stuff, actually. That wasn't the only change that the developers actually made for online racing. Proximity arrows are now enabled for all players by default in multiplayer. Proximity arrows now angle themselves based on the car's world position relative to the player's car and camera rather than player screen space projection, blah, 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 blah. Proximity arrows now use the distance between player car and other cars rather than the distance between the player camera and other cars. Oh, that's such a weird way that they were doing it. So if you were playing in like the close camera view, the arrows would have been totally different. All right, we need to find some other players if we're going to test this properly. I wonder if the developers are ever going to be adding in like a proper car radar system. I know that's been one of like people's biggest requests for Forza Motorsport for a little while. This is actually definitely a hot take. I think a car radar system isn't necessary. I think that's almost making the game a little too gamified and not enough simulated. If Forza Motorsport is supposed to be the hardcore simulator Forza game, then why are we giving players essentially UI tools that make it easier. I think what should be done probably instead of that, in this view, you see how there's like that mirror up at the top there? There's like a virtual mirror. I think there should be the option of having a virtual mirror in like every camera angle, like the same way as you can in real life, kind of just glance up at the mirror when you want or need to, to kind of get an idea of what's behind you. The proximity arrows should be going pretty mental at the start of this race, especially through corner one, so. Let's see, rip it off the line, put the power down nicely. Go, 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 go. I have way too much fuel on board, so I'm a little slow. No proximity arrows at the moment, but I think through here, we're gonna get, we're gonna get low. I would recommend braking at the point where it says to brake, sir, not before that. Yeah, proximity arrows are good. I see what they mean by they're working based off like the car position because they only pop up right when you overtake someone as opposed to like the camera. It, it turns the proximity arrow off if you're like alongside them, which I guess is good in theory. I'm gonna go late break. Mm, can't go late breaks. <laughs> Overall, that's a big thumbs up for a, like a fix for a feature. I would still like a proper radar system and a virtual mirror option. I think both of those would be good. I completely forgot to mention it before. Now that these cars have been released, the car pass is officially completed. I know a lot of people were really excited about the possibility of the McMurdy coming to the game via the car pass. It was in the leaked files that happened a little while ago, like people found it in the, in the game files on Steam. As it turns out, the McMurdy is not gonna be in the car pass, which is a downside but also a positive if the developers just add it in in like a free update instead we gotta check our favorite car in the game ferrari 458 wannabe wide body did the developers fix the rear wing nope <laughs> <laughs> there was a really annoying bug in Forza Motorsport where if you were watching a replay, you couldn't pause the replay. Thank you, developers, for fixing that. And they fixed an issue where fuel telemetry estimates in the fuel and tire wear menu always displayed a zero regardless of adjustment. Like I said at the start, update seven is more about the things away from the gameplay. But I think the things it does away from the gameplay are pretty big things. A bunch of nice little updates in there from... The optimization of the game itself, the proximity arrows are a lovely fix. And if the developers keep updating Forza race regulations, I think that's a good thing. Wait, chat says update eight will not include a next track. Our next track release is scheduled for update nine to be available in June. Bruh. If there's no track next month, then update nine better have a new new track. Otherwise, I will be disappointed.